Are you thinking about buying a home in Phoenix, but aren't sure where to start? Well, this is the exact video for you because I'm breaking down my complete blueprint on how to buy a home in Phoenix, Arizona the right way without overspending. So please make sure to watch to the end because missing just one of these steps could cost you thousand. So hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Odessa Kyleman. This is where you'll find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. I share the pros and cons in my property home tours, market updates that actually make sense from a buyer's point of view, and there's more how-to videos like this that'll be coming soon. Okay, let's dig in. First things first, let's make the decision. Are you really wanting to do this? Are you ready to buy? Or is this a Saturday night idea that maybe has since worn off? Well, if the answer is yes, you definitely want to buy, then let's go ahead and continue. So now, before you start looking for a house, you want to have an idea of what you can realistically afford. So many people skip this step and immediately go to view the first house they see online, which honestly only leads to heartbreak. So either use an online calculator to give you a ballpark idea of what you'll need to spend or even better, go ahead and get it pre-approved with a lender. If you want a list of my preferred lenders, let me know in the comments below. I'll send it over to you. So now, now you have an idea of what budget you're working with and here's where you can start looking at what type of real estate is available in Phoenix, Arizona right now. You can go to my website, which is happyhomeday.com, click on search for homes, and then use the filters to enter your budget and your needs, which will leave you with a list of the homes that are available. Now, here are some pro tips when choosing a home. You want to focus first on the things that you must have. Maybe this is like a location near schools or a yard for pets. Once you find some homes with these must haves, then you can start to be picky about more specifics. So the best way to stay within your budget is to set a list of what you need in a home and then agree to wait for the things you simply want and plan to potentially add them later or just wait for the next home. So now here's the thing, and this may sound self-serving, so I'm warning you ahead of time because it really is important. It's at this point that you absolutely must reach out to a real estate agent. Now, my contact information is down below if you don't have one. I can help you anywhere in the country through my referral network. And realistically, your agent can help with all of these previous steps. However, it's at this point that you must get a realtor because they are the ones that are going to be helping you access the homes for sale. They're going to be negotiating on your behalf and helping you navigate through the entire buying process. And please do hear me. Do not ever, and I mean ever, use the agent that is listing the home. They don't represent you and they don't represent your best interest. They're working for the homeowners, not for you. And in many states, it's actually illegal to represent both sides, which is commonly referred to as dual agency. And even if you don't want to use me as your agent, use someone else to represent you on the buying side. So once you've found the perfect home, it's time to create the contract. So the contract starts off being called an offer to purchase or purchase offer, and it outlines the purchase price, the down payment, the type of financing, and other terms related to the purchase of the home. In addition to the contract, you're gonna to need to consider the timing and the expenses for the appraisal, as well as working with a professional home inspector to help you thoroughly inspect the home before the inspection period is over. Now, a home inspection is one of the most important things to do to help ensure that the home you're getting is what it appears to be and to prevent disappointing discoveries that you may find after you purchase the house. These items can cost you thousands and you do have an opportunity to get the seller to take care of them if you can negotiate it as part of your inspection notice. So there you go. If you're thinking about buying a home in Phoenix, now you have a good idea of how it's done. Now, if I can be of help in any way, my contact information is down below. And remember, I can help you all across the country through my network. Now, if you're not quite ready to take the next step, 
that's okay too. You can use my website to keep looking online at any time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified of additional market updates, home tours, and our next home buyer tips video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.